The emergency services in Western Australia will never forget 1999, a year that witnessed the state's biggest emergency operation since the Second World War. Two cyclones hit the coastline and then moved inland, leaving the people of Onslow, Exmouth, Moora and the surrounding areas stunned by the damage caused. In Exmouth alone, homes were lost and stories of near-death experiences were frequent. But it didn't end there. Pastoral stations from Exmouth to Kalgoorlie lost hundreds of sheep and cattle, plus several homesteads. Hundreds of kilometres to the south, the banks of the Moor River burst. Moora was awash and the town had to be evacuated. Uh, but that's safety like issue as we race with Moora with the water and the electricity dangerous mix. The State Operations Coordination Group provided the necessary strategic backup. A massive coordinated airlift of supplies had to be arranged in conjunction with civilian agencies such as Western Power, Family and Children's Services, Telstra and the Water Corporation. In addition, vital support was given by the Army and the Royal Australian Air Force. Meanwhile, the SES Operations Centre was working 24 hours a day to see the direct needs of FISA personnel in the field and the community were being met. Certainly resources were stretched to the limit, but aside from the damage bill, the vital statistics are impressive. Not one life lost, only six injuries reported and any serious outbreak of disease avoided. This is the story of how those figures were achieved.